I guess you would call this a come get unready with me. Because <laughs> as you can see, I am taking my luxurious hair out. I just wanted to hop on real quick because I feel like, well, one, you could probably hear my AC in the background, but you will deal because it's hot as hell out here. Lord, y'all, I think Rob Kardashian and Black China about to bring me out of blog tire mint. <laughs> Get me blogging again. I mean, I had a blog called Kill Your Publicist back in the day, and today was definitely the day that Rob needed that sage advice. Bruh, what were you doing? In case y'all don't know in case you guys are you know adults and have lives and kids and bills and other important adult things to worry about it's too good too mature you don't gossip you all saintly and whatnot i'm gonna fill you in because you you click to watch the video so here you go um so basically um when i opened these big old brown eyes this morning god woke me up this morning and sent me on my way <laughs> hallelujah I opened my Instagram and um, Rob Kardashian was in there going nuts. Like he, well not like in my, in, but whatever. Um, so he had like posted some nudes of China talking about like y'all thought China was doing flat tummy tea to get skinny, but I paid for her surgery and all this other shit. And she had sent him apparently a little, a little picture of her new new and he had posted that and all this other stuff. Just going off about how she cheated on him she slept with three dudes in three days and she a hoe and how one of the dudes had hit him up for money trying to get money with him and all this other stuff and um you know my favorite little micro blog famous i hope i said that right fam famous I guess they had posted some tea the other day like yo it's about to go down get ready and of course everybody ignored it but oh oh bitch it went down on to die you heard me okay a lot of people are like well Rob you know you knew she was a hoe when you got with her and my problem with calling women hoes even if they were exotic dancers or strippers whatever you want to call them is like People don't have exact parameters for what makes a hoe a hoe, right? Like H2O makes this water, you know what I'm saying? Your knees giving out make you bad to play basketball, right? Like nobody has a parameter for what makes a hoe a hoe, specifically a woman, because we don't call men hoes like that. We, he pimping, you know, he backing, he just got game, whatever. Was she a hoe when she was getting you out of the, out of Chloe's basement? Had you jogging? Had you losing 60 pounds? Had you smiling? All in the paparazzi photos, going out to eat instead of eating in the Kardashian dungeon. Making you feel like a man again or whatever the hell you want to call it. Like, for you to be on social media now talking about she's a hoe and she had your daughter out of spite. First of all, one day, and he addressed this, but one day your daughter is going to be of the age where she can read shit on the internet. She's already going to be traumatized that her aunt is famous for having sex with Ray J. She's already probably going to have some trauma because her aunt slash stepmother at one point was 16 years old she started dating her mother's ex-boyfriend i mean you guys just do the math on that and now you put into the ether that she was a baby had out of spite when really rob she was a baby had out of pregnancy you know, and you know, maybe, you know, because mm, whenever this happens, it's like men forget how pregnancy works. So I'm going to take y'all back to health class. For me, it was like seventh, eighth grade. So I'm going to take y'all back to seventh grade. The way a woman gets pregnant, not spiritually, not emotionally, I'm just talking about physically, just talking about science, is a sperm that usually comes from a man, fertilizes an egg that usually comes from a woman. And this was the case in Rob and China's 
situation because you cannot look at Dream and act like that baby don't look just like Rob. I mean, let's let's just keep it 100. So, Rob, yeah, no, China didn't have that baby out of spite. She had that baby out of pregnancy. And what that tells me is that you did not use a condom. You did not pull out. Hmm. 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 How about you, Rob? What about you? You played a part in this, sir. Don't be out here making that baby sound like she just... What? Whatever. I just think that is is really messed up on your part. And then you're talking about all the stuff you bought her. Listen, G. We have all been in relationships. Ooh, my hair dry, y'all. <laughs> y'all gonna clown in the comments. I think we've all been in relationships where we give more than the other person gave to us, right? And my thing has always been like, if it ends and it ends badly and I feel like I've been used, you know, I was, I probably was. Um, but my thing about that is that you give from a pure place. Because when you give from a pure place, you'll receive from a pure place. Now, it might not be that person that you're dating, it might be the next person, or it might be two people after, or it might be your grandmother, or your grandfather, or somebody else. But you will receive from a pure place if you give from a pure place. So to sit here and be like, oh, I bought her all this jewelry and these cars, and I pay her bills, and da, 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 da. as long as you did that from a pure place, Rob, you have nothing to worry about. It's going to come back to you, you know, four, four, fivefold. That's, this is all I'm saying. But here's the thing, Rob. Here's why your karma is fucked up. Rob, you spent the day calling China all kinds of sluts and hoes. I mean, are we forgetting how you cheated on Adrian Bailon? Hmm. Mr. I always been a savage? Hmm. Because sure enough, when you cheated on Adrian Bailon and she left your ass, we spent a season watching you cry on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Skinny Robs. We spent a season watching Skinny Rob cry. Mm hmm. And that's how you got to be big Rob. Now, I'm not judging because I'm a big girl too. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Rob. And then this is not the first time you've attempted to slut shame somebody who broke up with your bitch ass. Like when Adrian left you, then you were trying to find all the things that was wrong with her. When Rita Ora broke up with you, because I believe, I think you cheated in that case too, Rob. Mm. And you went on a social media spree talking about how she slept with 10 dudes in 10 days or some wild shit too but now black china for whatever reason now she slept with three dudes in three days i mean either way that sounds like you know an upgrade that sounds like better to me three is less than 10 so you know but yeah like she wasn't all that when she was helping you out when she was bringing you back to to relevance so why is she all that now like why can't y'all just break up and Rob, this whole like slut shaming and basically putting her nude body on Instagram, you know, flicks that were specifically sent to you for your pleasure, that's revenge porn. And it's actually illegal in quite a few states. I'm not sure about California, but you might want to look that up. I mean, your dad's not here to defend you, so, you, you know, you neither is Johnny, so you probably could get in like hella trouble if China you know did say something and people are just over here like oh well oh so you just think china is a saint or just because she's a woman and she doesn't get any blame like, honestly i spend a lot of time on social media on the book of faces on the grams of insta and i see every day where men get rejected and denied i mean it's almost the same as like street harassment we walking down the street Hey, shawty, hey, shawty, hey, hey, we well, fuck you then, bitch. And I've seen a lot of times where men feel like they have a kid with you and you always belong to them, you know? Some even, it's just sex. Like, they had sex with you so they can always get that pussy. They always got it like that. And then when you deny them, now it's a problem. Now they hate you. Now you're this. Now you're that. My ex did that. <laughs> Hilarious. It's crazy. He's so mad. Stay mad, bitch. So my thing about China is if she cheated, yes, that that is messed up. And he has every right to be mad and hurt about it. And he has every right to tell her that that's not cool and to check her about it. Not be violent, but, you know, show up to the house. 
be like, yo, this is not cool. We're co-parenting. And that's it. You ain't getting no more of this big Kardashian dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. I'm not going to pay the rent. Or you got a month and a half to find some place you can afford. Whatever. Like, I totally get that. This today, this, what he did today was just some fucking bitter boy shit. And it's, it's embarrassing, Rob. You're 30. Grow up. Grow up. And tomorrow when he takes his Adderall, IG's already deactivated his page. It might be back up and private now, but he went to Twitter with the same mess. He'll take his Adderall, he'll calm down, and he'll be talking about how China's his wife and how much he loves her and how much he loves Dream and his family and da 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 So why did you do all this? I mean, is it promotion? Are you guys on the next season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians? Is there another season of Rob and China? I mean, it's fine if that's what it is, but you, Kirk and Rashida, uh, Rob, y'all need to find better ways of promoting your shit than destroying your families. Because I am just really confused like there's gotta be another way there's gotta be another way can y'all just not I mean you got a sock line how about some pajamas t-shirts she got China got lashed can y'all I don't know I don't know can y'all just go skip down a beach in bathing suits or something but just not this ooh that's messy oh and T.I. my man listen <laughs> The best part of the day was when Rob Kardashian, yes, Rob Kardashian read T.I. for filth. T.I. tried to hop up in Rob Kardashian's. Lord, T.I. tried to hop up in Rob Kardashian's comments and give him some advice and tell him that what he was doing was sucker moves. And Rob was like, nah, fam. China told me how you paid her to have a threesome with you and Tiny, and that's why your marriage is falling apart now. Ooh, ooh. Now, I noticed he didn't buck back at Snoop, but uh, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't either, because really, I think we all remember when um, Snoop was trying to get divorced back in the day, and then his wife was like, go on, go, and then the next thing you know, he was like, nah, baby, I'm just playing. <laughs> and they still together. But anyway, that was it. I just wanted to uh, holler at y'all real quick while I combed uh, out these braids. My little braid mohawk. And um, now it's time to detangle, wash, in deep condition. Because it is the life. Love y'all. Remember, what man meant for evil, God turns into good. <laughs>